Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to the Empire of Man in EU4. We are at war with the Portugal, or with Portugal, and we are just uh, getting a bit of war score here. Um, so we can get a bit more by uh, occupying a few of these islands over here. We have Curaçao already, and uh, now we're just hanging back. Um, so I was taking a look here. This is uh, not correct. This is like broken. It's telling me that I need to do a world conquest for the Empire of Man. That's not correct. But um, we are definitely making really good progress here. Um, we're going to need to do some more colonization. So we might as well do a bit of it over here. Um, I think that that's fine. This is Ottomans. This is Brunei. So we probably want a direct land connection to Brunei. Um, and I wanted to make sure we have coexistence. We do. Cool. So... Let's send them here, and then let's, um... I'm actually surprised that more of this is not already, um... Already claimed. And let's do this one here. And so, we are get letting, um... War score tick up, as well as war exhaustion. Though I guess war exhaustion doesn't really affect Portugal a whole lot. But, um... Also, something funny has happened. Brandenburgian, Brandenburgian Iberia... So, uh, that's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll be able to get a claim on him. He's still in the empire, empire, so we'll see how that looks eventually. But even if it's like one of the last wars we do, it's not a big deal. Uh, economically, we are doing extremely strong. Um, strong enough that I'm thinking I'm probably going to build a couple of manpower buildings. We really do need to do better with that. Uh, how are we looking on this? We're getting close to being over this, so let's just build some of these buildings. And then uh, help out with that. And uh, let's also revoke the embargo on you guys. Because you are no longer a valid rival. You are merely peons. But we do have big PP. We need 45 war score for this. Um, I'm not so sure exactly how this is going to look. We're almost done with a humanist ideas. Which will unlock ship durability. Which is a mill. So that's pretty good. We might take that one. Uh, national unrest and rebel support efficiency. Morale hit when losing a ship is admin. So those two are both pretty good. We might be able to put both of them in. Blockade impact on siege actually sounds really good. Wait a minute. Yeah, we don't need this. Let's go with um, blockade impact on siege and global engagement with. That's really good for us. Uh, so where is our navy at here? So this is not the sh fleet we're looking for. Um... This is a transport fleet here, and here's our heavies. We should have 17 other heavies elsewhere, yeah? Here we go. All right, we are blockading him, so that's good. Let's uh, do a little more blockades. Because we're going to need to get his war exhaustion to go as high as it possibly can. That way, he will be more and more willing. So... It's just a matter of time, honestly, at this point. We do have a merchant somewhere that's uh, not doing anything, so maybe we could make a few more ducats a month. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, we allied to Pope Man. We are. And Pope Man is number one trade here. No, Milan is. So we can now privateer in in um, Genoa. So we should definitely do that. We are 100% losing money by not doing that. Right, we need some more money. That's fine. We can wait a couple months on that. So if that's the case... Let's, um... Hmm. Oh, we're going to have to make so much money from that. I guess... Steer from here? As soon as he flips to low enthusiasm, we'll be able to, um, make this happen. So, within a year, I assume. Privateer's making money. Very good. Let's get these guys here. We'll send them in to go privateer down in Genoa. So we'll get lots more money from that. That'll be really good for us. He's building up his navy, and it doesn't matter because his navy can't even leave the uh, leave their base. This guy is young. He's a sinner. But uh, I think I'll keep him. And uh, send him to Rome. That's fine. Let's go with some more manpower since we're way ahead. I would like to get Papal Controller again, just because it was really funny that we got it the first time. And we haven't gotten it again since that I'm aware of. There we go. 
I believe... Hmm. We should do it again. We should get a second stack. We should. Send this first stack down to Privateer in Genoa. And this will be... Genoa. And we can finish out Humanist, which will allow us to take... Ship durability is good. I'm gonna go with it. And then what was this other one? Morale hit when losing a ship. That's okay. I'm not really sure if that's super important for us. Uh, maybe the prestige decay would be nice. And I think with that, as far as technology goes, I think we can split to a more balanced focus. And we can start finishing up all these full cores. I got a couple of comments about like, oh, why don't you um, full core the stuff? It's just because I didn't want to, I didn't really have the money to do it. That's all. No big conspiracy there. Wanted to focus down uh, humanist ideas. So this is going to allow us to take the r entirety of this. Um, and then later on, we'll, in the next war with him, we will take Clay over here in Australia. And then we will start sniping all of his islands over here. Uh, we're getting to the point now where we're going to need to start considering landing men on Japan. And we will do that eventually. Our colonists are admittedly not the best, so... We do need to make sure that we are making progress on that. Very important. So we got three more ships there. Privateer in Genoa. And let's see here. How much are we actually making in Genoa now? 12, so once he gets down there, it'll be about 24. 20. So we're making hardly any in Caramendo. Is there a reason for that? Because we only have four ships over here. Yeah, that does make sense, actually. All right, they have flipped to low enthusiasm. If I can... Yeah, this is fine. That will give us the entirety of the Caribbeans minus uh, these, this island here. And uh, the Caribbean now is looking very good. We can rival somebody, so let's rival... Um... Suppose Brunei? Can we... No, they're not an option. What about VJ? Yeah, let's rival VJ. Do we have a claim here? We do not. Not anymore. Let's get a claim up there so we can um, grab these islands up here because we're going to need them. Is this the Ottomans? It is the Ottomans, indeed. Our advisor is Dad, so let's grab a new one. Um, we were rocking on level 3 before, so let's get another level 3. Production efficiency it is. Um... Hmm. So, I'm not actually sure. Probably would be, like, in our best interest to see if we can get another uh, merchant, right? Like, just steer as much trade as we can. Even if we're not necessarily collecting a ton from steering, it's more about being able to um, get more trade, get more uh, value in the node. So how far away from this one are we? Uh, Guinea. 31. Yeah, I'm not going to get my hopes up about that one. That's okay. I don't really care about that one. These guys broke free from us. Kind of funny. Colombia getting beat up on by France. Alright. Sounds good to me, man. So, the next war. Probably should be Pasai, right? 127,000 men. That is legitimately insane, because we need to take the entirety of their of their country. Yeah, this is definitely broken. This is not correct. That's kind of a dumb. Hopefully, a reboot will uh, will solve that issue. Hmm. I suppose if I could just if I would just get a claim over here on one of these guys, and uh, then I could attack them. Just land some guys over there, and then you know blockade the ever living crap out of them. 
So, let's have you guys here. So, hold on a minute. This flight, this... F oh, nice. They took his, uh... His heavy ship. Okay, so then let's grab the rest of these guys. Get them down there. There we go. A lot of these, ple these fleets end up picking off ships, so... We're gonna want to upgrade a bunch of them. Let's get them over here to Madeira. Madeira? I don't know how to pronounce it. Upgrade all of them. Useful manly ship, of course. So we have 32 heavies. Morale of navies, sounds good, yeah. Well, we already have one. Are they half off? They are not half off, so now they are. Um, I assume we want government reform, yeah? This will give us some uh, minimal autonomy. Advisor cost is nice. Sure. So let's take a look. Oh. Oh my. Ottomans attacked Russia. Goodness gracious, that's a big war. Are we even a great power? Oh yeah, we're number three. We're up there. So, these guys are not doing too good, apparently. What's their navy look like? 345 ships. That is insane. Uh, Ottomans have 220, 220 galleys, apparently. Um, no heavies in you, no heavies here, no heavies here. So what we need to do is um, get some more heavies. So let's get like 20 more. When we can afford it, of course. It's going to be a thousand ducats, so I'll have to wait on that. But then we can get a claim. Oh, right. Um, are we going to do a trade war for these guys? Slander merchants. Hmm. They have negative prestige. Mandate is super low, actually. But they got a lot of men. So they're at war over here. It would be nice to get this, uh, this island over here. King Chow and Ni Chow. Ni Chow. I can't get claims on it. Russia occupies this one province over here. I love that. Okay. Um, hmm. Here we got busted spying on him anyways. Let's get a claim over here on you. Let's have you guys... So, do we have any rebels over here? We do not. So, let's have you guys head over here. This navy can handle VJ handedly, I'm sure. Let's have these guys head over here. With uh, our guy. And then in a couple of months, we'll get a couple more heavies. I'm going to build that there. Yes, please. Share some knowledge with me, Pope Man. Need a little bit more money. All this money we're stealing from ship from uh, trade fleets is already like enough to be quite substantial, right? Age of Revolutions is here. I'll just lose that. That's fine. Let's get some heavies over here. Not enough sailors. Ah, yes, of course. We need to do some rating, so let's do that. Do some speed five rating, right? go have you guys raid as well there we go so speaking of let's build these heavies here and then spend the rest of the money on um dry docks so we can get more sailors so it looks like we're going to max out on manpower or mill points so let's do some dev over here for manpower that's good we were only like 65 last I looked, so we're, we're definitely making progress here. We have our navy here. This is a light ship. So I think some of these ships need upgraded, but it's not a big deal. Oh, he's got 26,000 there. Um, 
Ooh. That's actually not good. We cannot win that. Um, well, what's his mil tech? 24 to my 24. Ooh, yikes. That's actually really bad. Because I'll have to land there to take that. Hmm. What's our combat width? 30, 38. So let's just flood him with men. And once we get that done, privateer efficiency, please. Now look at our income. Not bad. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fine. Abolitionism. Very cool. So, Age of Revolutions, we uh, could use a larger capital. Eh, I'm not too concerned about it. So, yeah, the fact that he's got these guys over there is actually really bad. That's kind of a cock block. Hmm. These guys have so many men. I do not want to fight them at all. It's gonna be so cancer. Peace. Uh, Papal State is now controller, sadly. Uh, let's go with... Let's keep them. Let's have you guys do some speed 5 rating. Why not? Is that all of them? No, we still got a couple more. There we go. See lots of big numbers there. Big one is the sailors. Um, Caribbean, we can't raid because obviously this is all ours already. So this is good. Let's get these guys over here. No point in having them all separated. All right, I'm actually going to do this. This might sound really reckless. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna like land like multiple stacks of men and just make sure that we win without a, without a doubt. We're losing a lot of sailors actually. Ooh, this is bad. Um, hmm. Well, I'm sure be having all those heavies out is not helping. Okay, we're gaining sailors again. We're good. We're good. Naval morale up. Um, let's just take it. And we can upgrade our ships here. Oh wow, we need more money, apparently. So check this out. Um, right. So let's do this. Looks like some of them are damaged, some of the transports. Now nah, they're fine. So let's declare this war here. Um, right, so let's declare this. I'm a little concerned. It might not go well for us. I don't care about his allies. None of them matter to me. Um, conquest of the Maldives. And, uh, let's land them. It's gonna take some time. Their general, they have a three-star general. Are you actually joking me? Hmm. Okay, never mind. I'm definitely not gonna do that. Not with a three-star general. Maybe we can get up here and, like, kind of distract them. Because a three-star general taking the negative two is, is pretty pretty heavy. It's a pretty heavy penalty for us. And he's got a 41 stack right here. Yikes. Um, apparently, we have a bigger stack than that. This is actually mostly a cannon stack, so uh, this is fine. As long as we occupy it, we'll be good. They won't be able to cross over here. We'll be able to stack wipe this big stack. That'll be good for us. I would like for him to try to sneak his guys out of there. There we go. So they'll be there on the 25th. We can be there on the 25th, apparently. Hopefully we don't get the negatives. Good, he got the negatives. This is good. Whoa, he's doing some heavy, heavy, heavy casualties. Are you kidding me? He's like kicking my ass. I have discipline advisor as well. Come again? 
because I didn't have any artillery. That's like the main reason. Damn, dude. Okay, well, let's um, let's run over here real quick and lick our wounds. Let's get rid of some of these guys. Let's get rid of all of them, actually. Get some cannons over there, and then let's build up some more cannons. We definitely, obviously, need them because we can actually take this mill tech and get more cannon damage as well. So let's get twenty of them. Uh. I don't care. Okay, so let's uh let's actually just let's give them a couple more months and then consolidate them. All right, let's just consolidate these regiments because there's no point. Uh, we will upgrade our tech, upgrade our cannons here, lose some money. I don't care. Get our cannons grouped up here. They will fear us, of course. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing over there, Mudurai. Get these guys over here. All the cannons grouped up. Little bit of attrition never hurt anybody. Try to take the least amount of attrition possible. So this is much better of an army here. Okay, very good. So we need to be quick here. These guys are taking a crazy amount of attrition. Okay, win this fort here, or this siege here. Again, Scorch Earth. He'll be there on the 26th, and we can be there on the 25th. He's locked in, so he will take a negative two. And now we have cannons, so we actually inflict casualties on him. Look at that. It's amazing how much a couple of ca couple of cannons did. And he's just going to flee off here, which is fine with me. And, uh, oh, yikes. Um... Big, big yikes. Okay, he's taking... Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, this is infuriating, man. Holy crap. Look how many men they have here. Big, huge yikes. Disgusting yikes. How many men did I lose there? Gosh, dang it. Okay. Well, apparently they're going to do this, where they just have these giant doom stacks just sitting here on lock, on lock, just ready to go. Time to, uh, time to gain a little bit of more manpower back here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 Yeah, our manpower just got absolutely destroyed right there. Um... We're way ahead on Miltech, so let's let's just do it. Let's just spend a ton of points on on manpower, though. Fine with me. And then getting over here and uh, wiping out those guys is gonna be good for us. All right, so these guys are starting to look a little bit better. Um, sadly, I think we need to get a better general. Not literally, not better. Gain another admiral. I like that. Sounds good. I'll push for another general if I can here. I'll just take the prestige. These guys are now full health. Um, I think I'd rather have the maneuver at this point. Let's go for round two here. See if we can uh, make something happen over here. Uh, they have more men here than they did before even. All right, well, let's take the war goal here. This should be pretty straightforward. We definitely just have significantly more numbers than them. They have hardly any cannon, so we should be able to just destroy him. What is this? I don't care if I have a negative two, man. Those rolls have to just be, like, demolishing me. There's no way. 
Like, I know their general is better than mine, but man, that's horrible. Mm, I'm gonna get attacked now because of this, though. Super annoying. There's a solid chance I get war decked on because of this. Um, I literally just took admin tech. Oh, it's disappointing. Oh, we're gonna take the mill point, or the, the mana, of course. Hmm, man laced army not looking too good. We're just like sinking manpower into this. Ugh. We can afford mercs, so we'll grab them if we need to. Oh, he's got some of his men off here. Nice. Well, he just forfeited the Maldives to us. Uh, let's get on to there. So that should be pretty straightforward then. Nice. I'll take a... That's 100 free admin mana we've gotten in the last couple of months then. He's 50. We'll keep him though, just in case. He lives, so... There we go. Much better. Now we blockade him. Because we can... I think we actually can get up into here from there. Um, so we now have the war goal. For what it's worth. And let's get a new general, new general. I guess the fire general will be better. Here we go. They're actually leaving the island. Oh, just kidding. They're not leaving the island. They are leaving the island. They're not leaving the island. Let's come over here, see if we can bait a good fight. Now that we actually have a decent general. Though having the war goal is, is the big thing, because we're going to get taking war score now. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to wrap this war up in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please share your support, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. It'll send you notifications when we upload. We're live multiple days every single week over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot. And uh, if you want to support us, we have a Patreon linked in the description as well as our Discord if you want to hop in that community over there. But that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And a big special thanks to my top November patrons, Drunk Binary, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, M. Dressel, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Disdain, Jake Hutchell, RJ Pilot, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and we couldn't do it without you.